Welcome back to Free Play. So, let's get straight into Gwent. This is the 8th episode, I believe, so we're coming to the end of the showcase. So, let's get right into it. So, we're at the Blood of the Elves. Okay, she can draw any card she wants at any time. Uh, Eridan can spawn powerful as use him at the right time to gain an advantage. Okay. Squesme Evelyan. You shall die, worm. So, swap a card with one of your choice and boost it by three. And ours is Spawn of Bronze Wild Hunt. Okay. Um. It's half his power. So we're now seven ahead. Water is a poison. I didn't mean to play it there, but oh well. That's the thing, alright? Huh. Interesting. Let's get them out. Elven Blarney. Hmm. I see strong magic. Okay, so we're nearly we're nine behind. What are you gonna do? Mahakam! Okay. Never had your kneecaps broken. I shall not fail. He's eight behind. Realistically, we hold. He holds. I win. Okay, he's one card down. We gain two cards back. Ooh. Right, fine. Okay. To us, hi ho, hi ho. We do what must be done. Okay. Coexistence, no such thing. Watch and learn. As dead as a Krisa. Ooh. Actually. If the enemy's destroyed or is under frost, boost self by two. We should do that. We play this guy here, and we play Frost up there. The only good human is a dead human. A waste of arrows, that guy. That was, that was a good match. <laughs> so, I just read online about YouTube's new changes to monetization again. So before, anyone could be monetized. Then last year they changed it to 
you needed 10,000 lifetime views. I'm at 2,000, I'm 8,000 away. They've now changed it again. It implements next month on the 20th. So essentially it's a month and three days away. So it's four weeks and a bit away to 4,000 lifetime views. So I'm halfway there and a thousand subscribers, which I'm now 990 subscribers away from getting monetization, which to me just means that what is the point of getting monetization when you can go to Patreon? It's as simple as that, because one of my goals in Patreon was going to be eventually at to the point of having no ads on the channel whatsoever. Why not implement that straight away? Well, yeah. And still have that as a goal, but for the first thousand people who on the channel are not going to have ads popping up to them. And when ads are finally there, who's to say they might not get pissed off? I don't know. Anyway, that's just an annoyance. Warriors can grow to be very powerful. You let them try to knock them off the board as soon as you can. Can spawn powerful allies, use him at the right time. Okay, so we're gonna frost things up again. I think. Uncrate! Okay. You shall die, worm. <laughs> so here, strengthen the highest law unit in your deck by two and play it. Okay. So he is. That's fire and iron. To war! Oh, 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 coming, coming! Go for your power of an enemy. Oh, I misread that. That's the power. I thought it meant his ability. Oh, I'm an idiot. The misplays. The misplays. Okay, so we have three frosts. So we can actually, realistically, we could play this guy, frost the back. Did he, he passed. Well. He has nine, I have eight. Oh. He has an additional card. But I have nine because I have this guy. So realistically. I'll let him win. I didn't want to do that. Okay, my turn. Okay, we get a boost and we get that. Okay. What are you going to play there, mate? You end. Okay, so I'll just play this guy. And hit and turn. Final round. Bow before modern Freya. Go. Damn it. I'm saying no matter where you play now, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt. Great! The goddess protect you from all evil. I see strong magic. Any last words? 
So we're gonna grab this guy. And we're gonna place him in the middle. Bow before modern Freya. Come on, girl! We survive adjacent. So we throw this guy down here. Look at that. That's just wonderful. This this pain for him. Exactly what I'd hoped for. All these guys get buffed. We're at 109, and now we sit back and watch. You're coming with me, dead or alive. Okay, if unit is damaged, reset it and okay. <laughs> okay. Victory. So you know what? Let's do one more. Okay. So we're reversing the Spider Queen again. Any last words? Opponent's turn. Okay. So we hurt him. We're five. Well, by three, so we're five up. Okay. Realistically. Do that. Wait, 19. I want to see what he does. Uh, if I must. Okay, we're 11 behind, so that means we play that guy. And we're caught up. Okay. Oh, thank God. Go. Okay. There is no escape. That's how we hurt them. We'll have to wait for this guy to pop down. Resistance is futile. Okay. We're good. We're gonna play it. You're at the back. Okay. 
dead, Essa Crisa. Play non mage world hunt ally. We want him at the front. So he's now losing eight a turn, eight power a turn. Damn it. Okay. He is really hurt. And he pretty much didn't progress for progress, and we win. That was extremely simple. So, that was amazing. So we go back. Let's see. We have enough to buy two, so that's what we'll do. Which is good. Cheap as the barrels in the... This land. <laughs> Goodest cards you get. Human deserve it. Yes, I do deserve it. For more. Um, deal three damage if the unit is destroyed. Deal three damage to another unit. Crude initial damage increased by one. So that's a crew deck. Resurrect a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard. And okay, so we'll do that. So we've got the Wear Cat. Deal five damage to an enemy, and then deal one damage to all enemies under Blood Moon. Uh, boost all copies of this unit by one. Wherever they are, repeat this ability whenever a copy of this unit is played. So you want a lot of them. Let's see, we got one of them. Not owned. Wrist random on each row by four. Crush and trap deal six damage units at the end. An enemy at the end of the enemy's row. Okay. We'll do that. The boost. We have one more keg actually, so we'll open that. Nice. Continue. Well, let's see. Discard a bronze card from your deck. Create a bronze social talent unit that is not in your starting deck, okay? Cool. We'll grab that guy. Alright. That was a decent episode. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below. If you want to see more, do hit the subscribe button. I do have, I already know what the next uh, free to play game that we are. It's called Fishing Planet, I believe. So we're going fishing. I do know the, some people have said that the developers have changed their minds about thing, that it was once easy to grind things in that game, but now it is a total grind fest or pay to win type thing. So we'll find out when we go into it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.